honor the memory of those veterans who gave their lives in defense of the United States Constitution and the freedoms we enjoy every day. We show our gratitude to all those men and women who serve now or have served our country in every branch of the military. United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. When our brave men and women are sent off to war to fight for our liberty and freedom, too many are cut down in the prime of their life. Today, let us remember those heroes <clears throat> that made the ultimate sacrifice who are buried in cemeteries across the United States throughout the world and the heroes buried in unknown places. Let us remember those heroes that never returned. Let us also never give up hope that one day those heroes will come home. The Benicia Army Cemetery is the oldest U.S. military post-cemetery in the Pacific states. This cemetery was a post-cemetery for the Benicia Barracks which from 1849 to 1857 served as the headquarters for the U.S. Army's Pacific Division. In retirement, Jim has been assisting his wife Kathy in maintaining the historic Benicia Arsenal Post Cemetery. Thanks to Jim's hard work and dedication, this final resting place is the jewel that it is. We thank you very much, Jim. And now for the placing of the wreaths. As I call your names, please come forward to prepare for the presentation. The Boy Scouts, retired Navy Master Chief Larry Miller of the Benicia Historical Society. Kevin Brock, Commander, American Legion Post 101. Joe Machado, Commander, VFW Post 3928. They will be placing the wreath on the grave of a U.S. soldier.
by Brian Turner, written in 2005. Hear Bullet. Ashbaugh. The ghosts of American soldiers wander the streets of Balad by night, unsure of their way home, exhausted. The desert wind blowing trash down the narrow alleys as a voice sounds from the minaret, a soulful call reminding them how alone they are, how lost. And the Iraqi dead, they watch in silence from rooftops as date palms line the shore in silhouette, leaning toward Mecca when the dawn wind blows. It is genuine privilege for me to be here today honoring those who have given their last full measure of devotion to protect and defend what we consider to be the cornerstone of what this great nation was founded upon, and that is the right to be free. There's no place that I'd rather be than right here at this cemetery today. In my career, I've had the opportunity to visit the Arlington National Cemetery in Northern Virginia and the Normandy American National Cemetery and Monument overlooking Omaha Beach on the coast of France. I can say without question that Benicia, while considerably smaller and more remotely situated, is every bit as beautiful and reverent in how it honors our fallen. To everyone that cares for the 211 souls resting here today, I want to thank you on behalf of a grateful nation. Especially Jim and Kathy, Wally, Carrie, Jerry, it's your dedication that will ensure 100 years from now that our fallen are honored as they should be. So thank you very much. Memorial Day is both a joyous and a sad day. Joyous because we continue to enjoy the freedom in our American way of life, but sad in that so many men and women gave their lives for it. They died for something they cannot enjoy, but they died in order that we might live free in America. Millions in the United States can live in peace today because so many service members now rest in peace. I'm not saddened remembering Donovan or Russell. I'm honored to have served alongside them. Memorial Day is our chance to say thank you to them and the millions and the millions of others by honoring their memory and sacrifice. Although our nation only recognizes Memorial Day one day of the year, there are families that endure Memorial Day every day of the year. I'm referring to our Gold Star families. The gold star hanging in, uh, hanging in the window signifies that a family has suffered a loss of a loved one in combat. Today, the U.S. military continues to recognize gold star families in a variety of ways. Immediate family members are authorized to wear a lapel pin that signifies their loss. So I ask you, if you see someone wearing a gold star lapel pin, know that regardless of the day of the year, it is Memorial Day for them and their sacrifice is greater than any of us will ever have to endure. I'm both thankful and blessed to have the opportunity to serve our great nation. It is, however, not as much the service to our nation that drives me. It's serving with the greatest men and women our nation can produce and knowing that they are willing to sacrifice everything to pres preserve what we often take for granted. Thank you. May God bless our fallen and the United States of America. I, Andrew Jerome Wynn Sr., do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and I will obey the orders of the President of the United States and the orders of the officers appointed over me, according to regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. So help me God.